Good afternoon everybody, Insignificant Fellow here with a Poundland Special, an actual Poundland Special, not tapped from Poundland, oh no. We've evolved. We are doing knockoff things from Poundland. Hooray. And we're going to start with, um, this. <laughs> Mint Nights, or to the man with eyes, a brain, and who has ever been into a shop, After Eights, Poundland's own version. With the um, a really long fucking barcode. <laughs> Let's have a gander at the ingredients. I'm going to go for yes, dark chocolate, yeah. cacao, my sugar, vegetable oils, palm what? Palm salt, palm, palm S A R C M. Oh, it's not palm oil. We'll let them off with that. Remember, I work for Iceland, and we're very against palm oil today. Some soap, some other stuff, some peppermint oil. Na -na 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 -na. And there's a fair waft of calories in there. There you go, if any of you care at all, there's your nutritional information. Well, let's have a look, see what we get, see. Show the board the scissors. Why don't I bring the scissors? There were a pair of scissors in here. Yep, I've opened the box and unleashed the smell of mint. Same kind of box design where it's the flippity flap. Oh wow, that's just blatant fucking robbery there, is it? There's it. Of course, you get this additional bit of um, useless thing. Hmm. And after it, it's a full box, or it is to my knowledge. But yeah. Um, I suppose if you you like you have a restaurant and you have like that little plate you put them like the the receipt on and you pour a chocolate on there or something that would suffice. Or if you just I don't know, don't like after eights or prefer these for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yep. Traditional minty white goo. Hmm. It's actually not bad. I would go as far as saying these are actually a little bit more pleasant than actual after eights so though. You get less of them in a box. Which is a bit of a fucking arsehole, but yeah. Oh. Mmm, good. Hmm, what next? Mm -hmm. We should do something controversial. Something that nearly got Poundland in deep shit. It's the return of... <laughs> Twin Peaks. Now for those of you in the know, will know that last year, Toblerone, which is some sort of direct rip of, we're very, very cross at Poundland for making these. Well, they're back now when they've changed the design and they're probably going to get in trouble again, but oh well. Inspired by the Wrecking and Urkel Hills. That's nice, at least Poundland are inspired by something. But yes, um, any of you who are familiar with the YouTuber Ashens will know that he went into Poundland and picked one of these up, and apparently last year when the fiasco first started, he did some digging and like people were selling them on YouTube for like 20 quid and shit like that. Man. So, um, yeah. But now they're all back in every single Poundland. And people look silly. They also do two flavours this year. They do a white one. And slightly harder to read writing. Yes, yeah, white chocolate. Oh, I've got, I don't even think the camera will be able to make out the ingredients. Um. <laughs> No, we're going to go ahead and not even try. I don't even think... I don't know why I don't know where the English thing is. Oh, it's, it's, it's under the flecky flap. Yeah, I'm struggling to even see that. For those of you who care, go to Poundland and actually buy it. Maybe you can read this one a bit better. Oh, no, it's yellow. Hmm. Even if I let the autofocus adjust, it still can't quite get to grips with that. Oh, well. We tried. We failed. And now we move on with our lives. Again, I wish I bought a pair of scissors. Ah, I've got it. Mmm, smells chocolatey. Looks... A bit... It looks, um... Some form of pen holder. <laughs> I don't know about that. Ow! Camera, fuck's sake. Yeah, hmm. This looks like, it, unlike the tailbone, which is easy to break off its triangles, this looks like it would pose a little bit more of a difficulty. So I'm going to go ahead and use the only thing I know best. There we go. I've got sort of a junk. 
It does contain a lot of um, nougat or nougat. Or whatever the fuck you are, I don't know. Let's give this a nibble. Um, nom, 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 nom. Mmm. You know what? Once again, Poundlander actually here to apparently save Christmas. That actually tastes quite nice. Granted, the similarities between Int and Toblerone are a few and far between. I think the only real one you can give them is that they're both made of chocolate. That's alright for what it is. Say you like Toblerone, you'd like this as well because it's actually different than Toblerone. Why did they sue? I don't know. Let's blame that bear on the logo. Now let's try the white one. It's almond and honey nugget if you can read that. Let's fight my way inside this one. I'll use my teeth seeing there's nothing wants to cooperate today. Yeah, same design, it's just wifey and harder to see through the camera. Damn it. Damn it. Because this one's dry. Once again, I am partial to a bit of white chocolate. I do like that. Yeah. If you like Tolo but would prefer something that's also slightly triangular and made of chocolate, I recommend Twin Peaks. I don't know if the white one's as easy to get as the green one though, because I noticed in my pan on the green ones were in a like a massive dump bin and the white ones were in a little area on the shelf. Do you want to know what was next to them on the shelf? This box. White chocolate malt balls. It's kind of like Maltesers. Granted Maltesers aren't really white, but Hey ho, here we are. What oh, annoying plastic. Such waste. Let's give these a try and see what we've got inside. And it's white instructions. And another really big barcode. What's wrong with Poundland? Well, yes, it's white chocolate with a crunchy malt centre. There's some sugar, glucose. All your typical fun stuff. There's no E numbers that stand out. So, um, maybe it's not horrible. Let me put these in another bag in the back. Oh, come on, lads. Right. In this day and age where... Excuse me. Nose itch. Where plastic waste is in the killer ton per household, unwillingly. We don't need more plastic. Are you telling me they wouldn't have been fine in there with this outer seal on? Are you really trying to tell me that, Poundland? I don't like you telling me things. Yeah. Yes, they're a bit um a bit uh, missful. Oh this one's a snowman. What's the is that? No, I can't think of the actual song that's walking in the air. Oh god, I'm gone mad. Yeah, um most of them around, the white. Let's give this one a try because it looks funny. Yep. Hmm. The malt's a bit cheaper than actual Maltese malt. Give you a cross section. Nom nom nom. But um, mm, it's alright, I suppose. I quite like it. But will you try it for yourself? Hmm. What next? Hmm. What other company could possibly want to sue Poundland for this off of the rip? Ah, yes. It is, of course, these. And by a lesser extent, these. They have started doing these flurries. Now, those of you who um, are aware of what a Twinkie is, mainly everyone in America and people who live near an American food shop in the UK, you will identify that as a Twinkie. Uh, and Poundland seem to have made their own version. You get five in a box. They have a company called Sweet Petites. Sounds like a fucking porn website, but I'm not going to go into that. Cake with milk flavoured filling. When you're using milk flavoured filling, that really does make you question what the actual fucking filling is. Oh, 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 oh that's right, this box came open earlier. I've now lost one of these, there's supposed to be five. Uh, I suppose the dog will eat it later. And then, 
be really, really bad. But yes, now the main difference in these I've already noticed is that they're a lot smaller. And they appear to be a lot taller. And they've got a lot more stodge to them. What is in the ingredient entities? I'll just read them. Oh, we've got a good list of E numbers. We've got E471, E475, E481, E422, E472B, E307, E202, E450, E500, E202, E222, E15, E E330, E100. <laughs> that is a lot of fucking E numbers <laughs> for what essentially is a milk filling in some cake. <laughs> hmm. Considering these are school lunchbox sized, I wouldn't exactly recommend giving these to your children. They might not fucking come off the ceiling for another six hours. Let's try one. Who knows, it might pep me up at work. And oh boy, I regret opening this at the bottom first. That is certainly um, misshapen. <laughs> certainly a lot different than the regular Twinkie. It's a lot harder. It feels like you'd wedge your bloody door open with this. There's the three stab marks in exhaust where the cream's been filled. Yes, it's um the Twinkies have a lot of syrupy on the outside, they're really quite nice. You end up with really sticky fingers, but they are quite nice when you ever see them, you know. Because they're rare in this country, so if you have one, it's not like you're gonna be having them all the time. It's a nice thing to enjoy. Let's have a, a dissect. Oh boy. And it's a de it's a better colour on the inside, but they have they have skimped on the filling there. You can't even really see it. There we go. That lighting angle's better. Hmm, yes, I, uh, I don't think they've quite captured the Twinkie, but let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. I have the sudden urge to jump up and down and run around in circles. That's quite chemically and it leaves quite the aftertaste in your mouth. It's a bit unpleasant. Hmm. 10 out of 10 for trying, but 0 out of 10 for actual execution. Hmm. Now, you've lost with them. They go on this side, and they go in the naughty side. Oh, apart from this, which has escaped. You go over there and enjoy yourself. Let's try the, um, what's it ones? Light chocolate flavours, wouldn't it? With cream filling. It. Well, it tastes different, I suppose. Nope. I like the box design, I'll give them that, I don't know why, I like the box design, just like a, you know, a bit of effort's been put in there, probably should have just had a regular box and put a bit more effort into the um, actual product. Let's have a look at the ingredients again, I'm going to suggest there's a lot of E numbers, I'll even leave it in shot so you can have a look at how many millions of them there are. Do 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 yeah, it's pretty much the same ingredients, the only difference is there's some like, cocoa powder to make it brown. Or black, actually. <laughs> it's not okay to me, but they do look actually like they've been burned horribly on the box, but... i look inside. Oh, and I've ripped a corner off on accident, so um, we'll not deduct points for that, because that's damage inflicted by me, not poor quality. But, um, hmm. <laughs> this look a bit burnt, actually, doesn't it? Again, holes in its arse where it's been stabberized. Give him a try. Hmm. Skimping on the filling again. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. It's not too bad. It's a little bit like a brownie, but it's a bit too cocoa-y for my for my likings. Hmm. Hmm. No. They've tried. They've failed. And our last item, it went slightly up market, and they've tried to copy Lindor, or Lindelt if you read it how it actually looks like it's spout in the box, with these luxury truffles. How many numbers of these have we got in here? And I can't, wow. Focus. None, so clearly they're for children, these are for adults. Let's have a good old... Oak and the box of fun. It appears that you get a lot more in here than you actually do with Lindor, so um, points to Poundland, but yes, it's a little individually in that truffle. 
It's lovely. I actually don't look... Ooh, a bottle. <laughs> you can see where they've um, put the softer chocolate inside it, but, you know, you're paying a pound for a box full of this. Actually doesn't look too bad. You could probably pass that off as, like, a stocking pillow, to be fair. Look support. It's... Mmm. Mmm. We have a winner. That's actually the nicest one. That is on par, if not slightly better possibly than Lindor, because you get more in the box. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. Hmm. Yeah, fuck Lindor. It's a French company. Have these. <laughs> yeah. This has been an interesting review, hasn't it? We've only had two things that slightly disgusted me. We're normally on about a 50 the 70% disgust ratio with these videos, but yay, we've done well. Yep. I quite like those. Those get to come home and stay with me. I'm going to be so fat, fat later on. I'll be bordering on diabetes with the amount of sugar I've got here. But not you. You go in the bin. So yes, this has been Poundland's knockoff review. They've done well with most of it, but they've failed when it comes to the American snacks. And you know you're really not having a very good day when the Americans can make something better than you. Goodbye.